is Steve Holder, you ask? Let's journey back to the northeastern corner of Tennessee, where his story begins. Born and bred in this scenic landscape, Steve's early years were filled with simple joys and valuable life lessons. As a Boy Scout, he learned the art of resilience, resourcefulness, and responsibility. His first job? Washing dishes at a small local restaurant called The Dutch Maid for a humble wage of 75 cents an hour. But that's not all. Steve soon after moved up in the world to Bob's car wash, earning a whole dollar per hour. It was in these early years that Steve developed a strong work ethic that would continue to define his life. At the tender age of 18, Steve took a bold step, volunteering for the 101st Airborne Division of the United States Army. After his service, Steve was ready for a new chapter. He found his calling in ministry. On May 4, 1997, Steve was ordained as a minister at Christ Worship Center in Richmond, Virginia. This was a milestone in his life, marking the beginning of his extensive ministry journey. His ministry training served as a foundation, equipping him with the tools he needed to make a significant impact. He facilitated a Bible study in a prison close to his hometown, offering hope and solace to those who needed it the most. In addition to this, he dedicated his time to preaching and teaching at various churches, spreading the word of God and inspiring those around him. But his ministry work didn't stop there. He leveraged his knowledge and passion for the Bible to write an extensive Bible correspondence course, reaching students all over the United States. In recognition of his dedication to his ministry, he received a certificate of religious counseling from the prestigious World Theological Seminary. But Steve's talents extended beyond his ministry work. He is also an accomplished writer, with a portfolio that boasts both fiction and non-fiction works. His most popular book, The Dark Truth, recounts the chilling story of Summer Wells' disappearance, a gripping tale that has captivated readers across the nation. Steve's ministry and writing were just two aspects of his life. He had a strong desire to give back to his community and make a difference. In 2020, Steve took a leap into the world of politics, running for U.S. Congress in the 1st Congressional District of Tennessee. He ran as a progressive independent, vowing to donate 90% of his salary to charity. He became a voice for the underserved, the homeless, and the BIPOC community. His public roles extended to the board of directors of Rebos Inc. and Gafter, though he stepped down following a heart attack. Today, Steve resides in East Tennessee, spreading the gospel, writing, and staying active in his community. So, who is Steve Holder? A Tennessee native, an Army veteran, an ordained minister, an accomplished author, and a committed public servant. Steve Holder, a man of service, faith, and action, always striving to make a difference in the world.